Well then, howdy neighbor. I got a letter for you. Out of here, the hermit. Oh, that's a lantern. Okay, we'll play along. So peaceful. Home. I have this letter addressed to you. A letter for me. I am expecting a scroll for my daughter, but I fear how late the postmaster is with his delivery. Aye, I found him dying. I promised to deliver the post on his account. Thank you, blessing upon you. I'm not even going to take a moment to maybe think about the dead guy or anything, but it's fine. Uh, good day. Are you lost? On the contrary, I know exactly where I am. I am where I am. This place is all I need to be content. Do you not miss the company of others? No. Except for my daughter. But she walks her own path. I see. May good fortune find you. And you as well. That's it? Oh, you a man under there. I guess that's all the dialogue we have. Alright, what about the lantern? I can't use that. Alright, well, I'm gonna take all this stuff from Mr. Uh, guy who... My inventory full? I can't take the lacquer. My inventory is full. I can't take lacquer with me. It's used in crafting, so I might want to take it with me. It might be more valuable than a few of the things I have lying around here. Uh... Crap. So many items in my inventory at this point. Uh, we can probably get rid of this crude wooden bow. In favor of lacquer. Especially since I know that, uh... Items stack inf infinitely in your inventory, so if you get some of, one, some of these things, you're good to go for good. Like, you establish that one stack and leave it there. Sure seems like it'd be a green ember. Huh. I'm kind of surprised that nothing seemed to happen. We sort of talked to him for a moment, like, Oh, thanks for the letter. Bye! Based on the uh, previous thing we had with the uh, the tools to get the... to entertain the spoiled guys, I just kind of figured that uh, all these letters would lead to people that have quests of their own. Could be wrong. We'll see. That seems to be all we have going on here, though. We just want to head down further south. Alright. Let's head through the wilderness. Our goal is to get past it anyway. Just need to try to unlock uh, waypoints for traveling and so on. Oh, hello. A little bit of fishing. Let's do this. Alright, well this might be a chill episode if we're just kind of wandering through a forest for a while. Going through, going past trees, looking at glowing stuff, fishing, so that we can stick them in our pockets. And how do I get? There we go. Getting a range of that was actually a little harder. All right, I should probably get on the path. Sometimes the bandits will attack you. You never know. Surprise bandit attack can liven things up a bit. Now we're now we're in the farmlands. This is another letter location. It's a. Uh, there's another side quest available here. Okay, yeah. We'll find some stuff to do here. I guess that was just sort of the the interim forest between two locations. Featuring a dying postman and some hermit. It happens. Maybe we'll hear more hear more about the uh, hermit once we encounter the sis the uh, the daughter. Maybe maybe they'll have some reason for us to wanna get him out of there. Like my estranged father's been Escaping from all of his debts, and he's actually screwed us all, and so on and so forth. It's like, he's like, he, he's not out there for personal enlightenment, he's actually just running away from all of his debtors, and now they're hunting after us instead. That'd be a surprise, of like, oh, turns out he's just a deadbeat, and not any sort of special, uh, meditator type. Of course I would get stuck behind water. Hello. Who's all, who all's in here? Rowena. You want something from me? Oh gods. What are you doing in my home? Are you here to rob me? <laughs> and I can actually say that I am. That's dark. Way to go, Lightbringer. <laughs> I apologize, just exploring. That's kind of what we do. Explorers, huh? You wouldn't happen to be good with a sword, would you? No, I'm actually good with a bow, but I won't correct you. I could use some help dealing with a little pest problem. I might be able to help with that. Really? 
Oh, that would be wonderful. I can pay you a little, too, for your trouble. You see, there are these, well, giant rats in the basement. These things keep getting bigger and bigger each year. I think it's those damned mages in Pinnacle. It's not natural what they do. What makes you think the mages are responsible? They conduct these damned odd experiments in the woods sometimes when the moon is full. All the wolves in the area howl for hours. We would have complained to King Xavier, but the old man has been too ill to hold court. What does it have to do with rats? They've been getting bigger, you see. After the mage's experiments, the water glows at night. I think the rats have been drinking it, and it's changing them. That's why I boil everything twice here. Uh, I can go down and deal with them for you. Thank you so much. Basement's just through the door there. Then take the ladder under the trap door. Can't miss it. You'll make an old lady very grateful for taking care of those rats. Okay, I will do just that then. So that's opened up. This journey, journey to the Sea of Ghosts. Curious. By Darfire. Captain's Journal, Fall Year 61, 5A. I've never much liked keeping one of these things, no matter how much the Elvish Naval Council insists. But for this particular assignment, it seems the prudent thing to do. We are quite literally headed towards uncharted waters. If for some reason we don't survive this trip, this document will act as a detailed account of our journey. I shall send updates weekly by Messenger Pigeon. If the updates stop, well, then. You'll know something went wrong. Several weeks ago, I was contacted by a private company speaking on behalf of an unnamed government official about a potential rescue mission. The details offered were sparse, and my crew was not exactly the, t the search and rescue type, but the gold was off the charts. I'm no fool. No one pays that much for a rescue mission, even if it were the Elvish King missing. I declined the offer. Three days later, this unnamed government official showed up at my door. He brought a revised offer with even more gold, enough to never have to work again. I was still hesitant, though. I don't take jobs unless I know the whole story. He looked irritated, but he, but he consented. Clearly, he had hoped I was just blindly... I would just blindly fall in line... What? Hope, uh, clearly, he hoped I was just blindly fall in line for money. That doesn't quite sound like it's worded right. Anyway, a uh, ship named the Observer, carrying a very valued artifact, is believed to have sunk far to the south. It had been traveling from a small island, discovered at random by the group of explorers aboard. On this island were ruins, the likes of which had never been seen before. They took a bunch of artifacts, including this one specific artifact, and sealed them in a chest. Unfortunately... On the journey home, they encountered a terrible storm. The last message from them said they were attempting repairs during a lull in the typhoon they had run into. My mission, as you might call it, is to travel to the area where they last reported and attempt to retrieve this sealed chest. Any potential rescues of these explorers was clearly optional. I still wasn't happy with what the information would be, with the information, uh, that, seems, that still sounds weird, like it's worded weirdly. I don't know. I still wasn't happy with what the information being provided, and I let him know it. Why me? Why my ship? Surely the Elvish government was less than enthused by my last voyage with the Irritum Glorpin that uncovered their secret ember mines. He simply waved my inquiries away. He wasn't from the Elvish government. This is more important than that. My previous work had shown me to be a sailor beyond compare, he said. I had proven fearless and honorable. I also never had failed a contract before. But the last reason he provided was the one that makes the most sense. The ship is believed to have sunk in the Sea of Ghosts, and every other ship they have, they have went to has, uh, has turned them down. I thought, there, I thought that was meant to say sent at first, so I was pausing for what might have been a typo. Uh, I finally understood. I was their last hope. No one else was willing to voyage into the area, that area of the world, both uncharted and haunted by terrible rumors of certain death there. I'm not sure what exactly convinced me. He still would not explain what exactly I would be retrieving, but obviously I said yes. 
I would make this journey because I did not fear this mystical sea. And because the payment was beyond compare. Most of all, I was ready for a new challenge. I hoped my crew would be too. Day 1. My crew has proven less than enthused by my choice and contract. Even the promise of unfathomed wealth has not swayed them at all. I consider myself a fair elf. I have offered to release my any man from his contract aboard the ship if he is unwilling to participate. So far, four crewmen have taken me up on this. My first mate, Grenell, has said that he knows of able-bodied replacements who would gladly join our crew. I've consented to their addition. I just hope no more of my crew decide to leave in the two days we need to prepare for the trip. I have no wish to sail into potentially dangerous waters with an unfamiliar crew. Day 3. Only one more man chose to depart. We are uh, ready for our journey. It is anticipated that we will arrive at the last known position in two weeks. I hope for a smooth and peaceful sail. I even prayed for the first time in many years th this morning. I don't know if Ciro listens to elves whose devoutness was abandoned in early youth, but I have a feeling we'll need considerable luck to find the sunken ship in the vast uncharted seas. If any of the tales regarding the Sea of Ghosts are true, it will be a challenge indeed. We depart at sunrise tomorrow, another attempt at, uh, at superstitious luck. I have never had a journey go poorly that began at sunrise. Until now. Well, this is a bummer. I want to see where that story is going, but they only ha she only has volume one here. Maybe the other one's going to be in the basement. I guess I'll deal with the rat problem too. I just realized that I probably should have probably should have recovered a little bit first. Ah, maybe they're not that tough. But yeah, we don't really have energy right now. I'll start off with heal aura, just to cover our general area, perhaps. No, let's do an enrage instead. Let's all focus on this guy. You can do a flash strike, and firebolt. Then I can do a heal aura in the general area of Corrin to hopefully keep him alive. Now let's have let's have Cora approach the group to help. Now that she's in the middle, she can ground smash mostly most of them, hopefully. There we go. That'll deal with the crowd pretty well. We're pretty much out of spells now, but. I think that I think that was the thing that I needed to tip the scales. Okay, taking damage on protagonist. It's not the best news. Did not mean to make the camera freak out like that. No, don't try and drag the character. Yeah, having the having uh, commands and camera be controlled by the same buttons is a little iffy sometimes. Here we go. Here, Corin, go to the giant rat. Oh no, that, everyone everyone refocused already. Cool. Let's just deal with one target then. Everyone focus fire. I didn't know I could do that. Just trying to get them off my main character for a bit. Cool. Alright, we're clear. We should be good to go. I can probably just wait and see. I don't think anyone's going to be taking up damage to go down. So I'd rather not use any potions. Gotcha. And I level 7. Anyone have any healing potions? Cool. Bit more dexterity and vitality should be good. Been happy with the pace so far. There's pots and pans down here. Can't loot the rats, interestingly. Okay, sure. Otherwise, there's just some cooking stuff. We'll go ahead and head back up. I can take the moment to camp inside of her house like a lunatic. That'll recover the party. I don't know... This is a different episode, so I don't actually know when, uh, when I last rested. Oh, 10%, not bad. She's praying. Are you a man on the day? Thank you so much for your help. Wasn't sure if I'd ever get down there again. Now I can finally eat the preserves I made a year ago. Alright. Is that the end of that? Is there anything else to talk to her about? Okay. I'll nope. Play along. She's not interested in any more discussion. Okay, well we took care of a rat problem, that's that I guess. At least I can say I did that. Okay, I should I should meet up with a vendor, because we're getting pretty overridden with items right now. There's one right over there. That'll be my next priority. And I might be able to use the forge to craft stuff if I have the ability to. 
So I have recipes that require ingots and stuff like that, so I don't, I'm not really sure if I can make them or not. Uh, I might have the materials on, by now, but I don't know if you need a recipe first. But uh, maybe a local NPC will sell said recipes. Keep going this way. Won't know till we try. I would like to start figuring out the crafting, because the loading screen did explain that uh, the crafting was just going to consistently be higher quality gear than the stuff we can find or buy. But you gotta do the leg work. In the first part, that's just learning how to do it in the first place. So many resource nodes on the map. Black Dahlia. There's more. Oops, spider wart. Uh, we don't have room for spider wart. I'll go by the vendor first, and that'll fix up our problem. What do we have here? Hello, Matthias. Can I talk to Matthias? This they seem named. I can't tell if you're looking at me. Keep your distance. He's a biter. The cow. All right. Sure. Patty. I can't tell if you're looking at. Welcome me. to the Farmer's Hearth Inn. Try not to track any mud inside. So does the inn have all the vendors inside, or is that the next building over? Oh. Oh, should I go upstairs or down? Maybe there might be an internal staircase too. Yep, there it is. Francis the peddler. How can we help you today? Hello there, chums. Nice little inn out here in the middle of nowhere, wouldn't you say? I peddle my wares between farmlands and pinnacle. Times are tight, though. Times are tight, especially for my esoteric item selection. What type of, it what type of items do you sell? I specialized in high-priced rarities. Things found on the road, or bought off travelers, family heirlooms, looted treasure, that sort of thing. Can I see what you have for sale? That's exactly what I want to hear people say that they're specializing in, is high price rarities. That means they have worthwhile stuff to buy. And these things might be, but they require some high stats. You gotta go from one to the other. Uh, this one does 10 more damage than my current weapon. Gets you vampiric shot, and bonus dexterity. Ooh. A good selection of rings, which is something that a lot of our characters, are, or most of them, might even be lacking in. Recipes for superior half plate, splint mail, copper cleaver, hatchet, great axe, war axe. Bunch of potion types, runes. Drag this rune over an equipped piece of armor to apply a skill to it. Oh, you can add. I wonder if you can only add runes to equipment that doesn't already have a rune in it or a skill on it. See, let's take a look at my... So these are all weaker ranged weapons. So let's... We're just gonna go through here and start comparing gear. Don't actually have that much. I wonder if I can increase my overall carrying capacity, because it's kind of crap right now. Let's see, this is strength armor. Let's start from the top. Okay, so let's go for our melee weapons. That'd be Corrin. Don't currently have much reason to want to use any of these, really. I believe he's currently using a one-handed weapon. These are all weaker. So we're gonna go through this list. There we go. Oh yeah, let's do sell all treasure and junk. That frees up some spots. Cloth, garb, okay, so... Ooh. This gives you knife trick and a bunch of different stuff. You lose flash strike, but, uh... Get a bunch of different skills. It's plate armor. Probably gonna want to put that on for the bonus stats, at the very least. Yeah. Oh wait, no, it's the same stats. Sorry, I was looking at the top part that says the bonus stats, but the bottom part is, this, is the change of stats. And that's not actually good. Because I like Flash Strike, so I want to keep that. This one has lower stats. Not particularly interested in that either. Nope, Plate Helm. Alright, got a cloth item. Which is garbage. We've got another cloth armor. This one just has a uh, swap between ground smash and teleport. Surety has ground smash and teleport, so kind of a moot point. Leather item. Lose your skill for no and gain nothing. Let's see, are these all. So going through these leather items, none of them have any sort of stat increases. So it just comes down to skill. You can place heal with heal aura. Ooh, get Ground Smash instead of Berserk, that could be useful. That AoE is really handy. Let's take a look at my personal stuff real quick. Let's see. Get Knife Trick instead of Berserk. Throws knives at all nearby enemies, dealing damage to each. 
That could be nice. And it'd be kind of cool to have something that's different from the other character that has an AoE also. So I think I'm going to go with that. This is Teleport and Ground Smash. Heal instead of Heal Aura. I do feel like a single target heal is more... Might be more useful than... Uh, than an AoE heal to an extent. Let's compare this shield. Nope. Not interesting at the moment. All right. What can I do for you? Let's sell off the, re the remainder then. There we go. Nice replenished inventory. That's something to go on. Oh, that's too many pickaxes. It's too bad they don't stack. I got I saw a loading screen that confirmed that stuff stacks infinitely in this game. There's no limit to how much you can stack an item. So I don't have to worry about uh, one stack of items overflowing into another stack and stuff like that. Which is nice. So, it's been a little while. Let's confirm. So, no one currently has rings. Are you looking for anything in particular? So, I probably want to buy all of them. Uh, strength, intellect, yeah. Let's just go ahead and jump straight into that, why don't we? Alright, so... Give you your dexterity ring. You get your... Strength ring. And you get your intellect ring. Cool. So she has uh, heal for a small amount when you defeat an enemy. Oh, it's pass. Oh, rings are passive, huh? Increase your dodge chance and dodge it and dodging attack will replenish a small amount of energy. Nice. Increase your dodge chance and dodge. Yeah, same thing. Okay, cool. That's actually really good for the melee character though. So when if he dodges, then he will get. Uh, does he? Does his dodge chance listed anywhere around here? I don't think it is. Still, that means that if he dodges successfully, he'll now gain bonus energy, which means more skill usage without having to replenish it the, the, the slow way. I have runes I'm not sure I'll use. I can grab some ingots. They're low price. I'd like to have some crafting materials on hand. And they stack infinitely, which helps for sure. Very tempted just to stock up on every recipe. I might do just that. Yeah. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Is it, an, is it an upgrade or I just make a terrible mistake? It's exactly what he's already using, isn't it? God damn it. Alright, well that was a waste of gold. That was not what I meant to do. Got a little click happy. Alright, let's find our recipes. Consumables, perhaps? There they are. Alright. There we go. So I'm expanding our supply of things I can craft. That'll hopefully come in handy. We'll see. Well, I want to visit that forge oh, to see if I can craft I ingots or not. Alright, get rid of that iron heater I accidentally bought. Okay, so... I feel like first priority, let's look for stuff that keeps Korin alive, because he's the tanky character. Uh, looking for armor... Plus eight armor, one vitality. Get whirling blades as a wild, a wild, a wild spinning slash that deals damage to nearby enemies. An AOE would be good. More armor would be good. I'm gonna go with it. What about you? Oops, wrong character. Well, is, is there one-handed weapons? There are not. Okay. Cora, there's a staff. Looks like crap. Lightbringer, there is a longbow. Bonus damage and dexterity. I'm not super attached to vampir to uh, explosive shots, so I'm okay with switching to vampiric. Leather armor switches knife trick for leap. I kinda wanna skip stick with the current one. We just and we just put it on. Cora gets scorching heat. And a little bit of a bonus. I could go without spending that kind of money right now. For like a plus two bonus to a character's Durability on a character that doesn't mostly get into attack range in the first place. There's a weapon swap. Let's get our new armor on. Yep, that's the one. Are you looking for anything? Then sell off our old ones. Good. All right. That was a good time. Things went all right there. I don't 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 know why I just clicked on that when we already took care of that. It's fine. In particular. All right. Maintenance has occurred. Good. Is that a book at the end here? Oh, whoa. Clicked outside of the room for a minute there. 
Nope, can't walk up to that book, apparently. Alright, that's fine. Let's go downstairs. Oh, can I not go downstairs? There we go. We have a Rose Key, we have a Innkeep, we have Rose, Greg, and Pearl. Got a few people to meet, it looks like. I'm not interested. This place has the best ale, just the best. If you ain't gonna drink with me, go away and let me get drunk in peace. I see. And why are we getting drunk? Oh, we're gonna have a little talk about our goddamn problems. Is that a plan? What do you... what... Did the McGoblin's butt of a wife send you... No, I'm just curious. That's what I did wrong! Curious! I was curious! God's mucus, that's the last time I crap on a hype. I just wanted to come here and drink. Let me do this. Let me join you. And we can- and you can tell me why you're in such need of, uh, pain relief. Alright, but you drink with me, gods damn it. Now, now, here's the thing. It was exactly about two days ago, yet I think I was, I was hunting, and I had my bow trained on a beautiful buck. He would have had enough meat to last us a month. Go on. I'm about to shoot, see? Something spooks him, and he takes off. I shoot anyway, and I get him clean in the hunch, so I track his trail, see, and I, I end up in this clearing, and I'm not alone. Wolves, gonads, I'm not alone. What? Who else was in the clearing? I was a man, I think, dressed in black, standing over a table, covered in these jewels, maybe embers? I don't know, but they were real big. And here's the thing, he was surrounded by these creatures, these blackish purple things with these, uh, well, there was some kind of mistake, that's all. It was one of them, one of those ugly things who was eating my deer alive. What'd you do? I think I started backing away slowly, and then I stepped on something and the man turned around. He couldn't see my face, but he yelled something and the creatures came at me, making this noise. It was a sound like... Like demons screaming for their lives, and I, I ran like a Pavlin puking baby. You either outran or outwitted them. That's an amazing victory. I see no victory in running since I was puck faced turd in my mommy's house, so I run to the village, ready to die anyway of heart explosion. I tell the guards, I tell everyone, but no one believes me. I turn a stupid, full of. I turn the stupid up to full and go look in the next morning, and there's nothing there. Nothing. So here I am, telling it to a guy with a codpiece on his face who won't drink with me like I told him to, so get out of here. That happened. That sure happened, and apparently my mask is being called a codpiece now. So that's great. Alright. Nice costume. Pardon me, sir. I'm trying to enjoy a drink here. That, everyone's nice, aren't they? Everyone's great. So I wonder then, uh, sounds like there's something bad to worry about in the forest. We'll see. Welcome to the innkeep. How can we help you today? Welcome to the Farmer's Hearth, Travelers. All our beds are rented out at the moment, but I would be glad to offer you food and drink. I also sell some smithing supplies if you want to use the forge out back. We only use it to shoe our horses, but I'm sure it'll be a fine adventure who needs it as well. Uh, can I see what you have for sale? Lots of recipes for food items. Interesting. Oh, ingots. Found them. That's important. Let's just grab all of them. Recipe collecting. Don't want to leave them for later because you don't know if I'll ever. I don't know if I'll ever find them again. Ooh, molds. I need. Did I need a mold? Oh, I needed. A, I needed a pattern. Is what I needed. Interesting. Interesting. He sells a lot of crafting items. Actually, it might not be a terrible idea just to stock up on medium flask molds. I mean, uh, empty flasks. The problem is that if I did do that, it would use up all of my inventory, which is a little iffy. I mean, all of my money. Alright, so now I can make ingots. That's good. Probably. I think. Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, you can't talk to him at all, though, unfortunately. I'm cu I was curious to see if, uh... See, where is this forge, anyway? Out back? Oh, yeah, right over there. Okay, I see it. Uh... I was curious to see if you could talk to him or not. Nope, oh, gotta open this door. Maybe we'll see, maybe there's something nasty out in the forest and that was like our early warning about it. Was that Marjorie? How do you get inside there, Marjorie? Is there a gate? Can I come talk to you, or... There you go. Oh, don't it! 
me? You're looking to buy some chickens? Uh, not really, no. Hey, you're the one who started this conversation, not me. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had any run-ins with goblins? Me? No more or less than anyone else around here. They don't bother me luck much if you ask me. They're not all that different from men. Slightly ruder, maybe. A little riper, too. We mostly get the library goblins once a year, not the wild ones so much. What's the difference? Library goblins got a leader, and they and some sort of code of ethics. They got their own ways of getting things, even pay with and trade with some of the bigger merchants. Generally, they leave us regular folks alone, save on mating day. And the wild ones? Well, they're exiled, see? Used to be in the library, but couldn't follow orders. They're the dangerous ones, gone feral, just trying to survive. They'll attack on sight, but we don't see many of them around here. You mentioned something about a mating day, what's that? Well, that's what they call it. Once a year, a big mess of goblins leaves the library. They come through the farmlands making a whole lot of noise, pillaging and wrecking stuff like that. Then they head to the water and swim somewhere. Where they go? No one knows, do they? Have to be insane to follow them. Everyone around here spends mating day locked up inside with their valuables, keeping quiet, because you draw any attention, they'll go for you. Then about a week later, you got the return. The return? Yeah, they, they, they come back from their swimming. It's the opposite of mating day, except on the return, they're dead silent. Don't bother anyone, don't mess up anything. March right on back to the library. Always some new youngins didn't tell. They're a weird lot, those goblins. Interesting. Also, I don't think I can close this door back up, so sorry about the chickens, lady. <laughs> so apparently the... Apparently, like... Did, did, she, did she say once a year, or am I just making that up? But appa apparently the goblins have a rampage that involved in the process of making babies. And, uh, that's certainly a thing, I suppose. Oh. Can I not open my recipes from here? Interesting. Alright, let's look up how to do ingots then. Uh, oh, you just use, you put the iron or copper ore, and that's it. There's nothing else. Uh, accessories, consumables, other. Are crafting items considered, considered other? Copper ore. Craft. I made a copper ingot, yay! Can I put all of them in there and make nine? I can! Alright, that's good to know. This is slightly clunky, but sure, it's fine. So I, I know how to make copper ingots now, and I can make iron. So now if I've got, if I've got anything, oops. If I've got anything that requires those materials, I'm set. Let's see, can I even do anything with wood yet? Nope. Don't have any actions with wood. Interested to find out where this guy's keeping this water bucket of his. He's currently got one of those just lying around. Alright. Uh, let's look into... Let's look into weapons? My only woodworking is this repeater. We have these war axes. Two-handed, two-handed, one-handed. Average damage, 61. How does that compare, for example? Average damage, 54. So it is better. Going purely based on that one stat, at least. Okay, so if I wanted to make this iron hatchet, let's check around and make sure there's nothing else, too. I think that's the only real thing I have right now. If I want to make this, I need... An axe mold and an iron ingot. That's not too bad. Okay, so if I go buy an axe mold, I can make this weapon. Cool. Otherwise, we have these we have these leather items here. Both level 5. That's encouraging. 48 armor. 6 armor. 38 armor. 5 armor. So those are an upgrade. So it seems to be holding true the idea that these... Level these uh, items are better than anything else we have. So this is like level this is eighty one armor on the ch on the split mail here. Seventy two, yeah. So crafting's no no joke, huh? Let's look at what we can get then. Uh, this it's a heavy armor mold and iron ingot. So the problem I'm going to notice here is of course the fact that uh, we have what we have two iron ingots. That's a problem. 
Also, for the leather working, what do I need? Leather cap? Yeah, we don't have patterns, is the problem. And those also require iron ingots. Well, that's not very... Oh, cool. The armor, though, only requires leather and an iron ingot. Do I have leather, is the question. Um... There's no search button, is there? I have to just know. Toggle inventory mode. Oh, God. There's like a manual inventory mode. That's a nightmare. You have to really know what you're looking for, huh? I don't know, on some level it's kind of handy. Like, the, like these ingots here and stuff like that. And you get the wood over here. Eh. It's a somewhat charming inventory style. Unfortunately, nothing seems to be leather. Without leather, I can't do crap. Oh, there's, there's Fia. Alright, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I like that that mode. Well, if nothing else, I can grab the, uh... You can use our iron to make a... hatchet with an axe mold. And maybe the split mail? I need heavy armor mold. I might, I might have that. I might be able to buy that. Let's check. The molds were... The innkeeper had them, right? Not the guy upstairs. Hello. What can I do for you? I would like molds for an yeah, axe mold. Don't want to. I don't think I want to buy entire stacks of these just because uh, there's, there's so many of them that we we fill up our entire damn inventory. Heavy armor. There we go. We're we're doing our first ever crafting today. It's a bit of an inventory management episode to an extent, but. It's mechanics of the game, and we're getting a chance to experiment some with some of these the mechanics we haven't dealt with yet. Alright, so iron ingot. One of those. And then Uh there we go. Axe mold. We made a sturdy iron hatchet. Sweet. You just come on back here. Heavy armor mold. And iron. I figured the best thing to uh uh, upgrade first anyway is probably our tanks equipment, so I'm not that bothered by the fact that we that uh, I can't do anything for my main character right now So going from vampiric strike to dispel attack uh, Dispel attack is a low damage hit that removes all positive effects on the target So only only use that if your opponent actually has a buff that you know about or if you're just being cautious, I suppose Otherwise, we're going for we're losing whirling blades without ever having actually used it, <laughs> and switching to shoulder bash. Ram your shoulder into your target, dealing low damage and stunning them for four seconds. Doesn't hurt to have a stun, but mostly I'm just going for big chunks of armor upgrades. So our char our characters currently have 22, 43, and 123 armor. So, not bad. I don't have a shield recipe yet, do I? I don't think so. No, no tailoring recipes. We have leather working, but we don't know how to make leather yet, and I don't think I can even buy leather yet. Ah, uh, they might have had it at the store. Either way, I'm out of iron, which which gets us in trouble until I find more. But it, it probably isn't that rare of a resource. Come on, go inside. Ah. Uh, this click-only movement is kind of awkward if it keeps prior trying to auto-path around corners and stuff like that when you're trying to go through a door. There we go. Alright. Job's done.